Good morning guys, um, there is a uh, new BIOS uh, version uh, available for the um, ASUS ROG Strix Z490E gaming motherboard. Um, we see on ASUS website the BIOS version now is called 2201 available since the 24th of June 2021. Let's uh, start the uh, update process. We download the uh, zip file and uh, after that we go into the uh, downloaded folder and um, before running the USB BIOS flashback tool we need to rename the uh, BIOS file with the BIOS renamer. This is how the uh, content of the extracted uh, archive looks. Here we have the uh, BIOS file and the BIOS renamer uh, executable. We simply double click BIOS renamer we get this uh, window and we just need to press any key to continue press enter and it renamed the uh, BIOS file to SZ490.cap. Using the uh, AI Suit 3 software, we will now update the BIOS. Click on it, and it will take us right to this uh, window where we have here manually update uh, boot logo over BIOS in this uh, case and we just need to navigate into the folder where we unzipped and uh, renamed the uh, BIOS file. Once we got to the uh, correct uh, destination of the uh, BIOS file, we simply select it and click open. And now we have it loaded right here. And uh, then in this uh, lower right side we have the update button. Click on it. We see this message that it may take up to 5 minutes and uh, do not touch the PC in any way during this time. Also the system requires a restart for the BIOS to take effect after all the process has been uh, completed. Uh, we can see that uh, the current version is uh, 2103 and the uh, version that it will be upgrade to is the uh, 2201. Let's hit flash and uh, start the update process. Okay. Okay. And now simply wait. Here it is. You see there is a white bar in uh, 
the lower part of the screen and uh, we get the message uh, processing clear database so the BIOS update uh, process begins just take your time and uh, sit back and uh, simply wait depending on your system the update uh, will last uh, shorter or longer and now we see the uh, bar started to load so it still uh, clears the uh, database as I've uh, always done um, I will talk uh, about my uh, Intel i9-10900K system um, it runs amazing guys up till this date no issues whatsoever it is simply an uh, an amazing system now we are in uh, the update area 2 area 3 We're almost halfway, area 5. And now the update was successfully, the system will reset. We'll have now the, a couple of uh, resets, of restarts. Don't worry about the no signal. It uh, will recognize it right away. Again, do not touch the, the PC in any way, just uh, let it do, uh, do its work. Don't, even if you get the message, um, press delete to enter UFI BIOS, don't do anything. And this is what we were after. Please enter the setup to recover BIOS settings we have um, here the two options either to press F1 or F3 
F1 it will be for the Intel default settings, so the stock power limits, or press F3 for uh, overclocking. I always press uh, F1 and uh, although you can see my system has a uh, Noctua NHD15 uh, Chromax black on it with this motherboard and uh, the i9 CPU with the uh, um, RTX 2070 Super from MSI Gaming X Trial and with this amazing uh, case from Cooler Master um, the uh, H500M um, I never overclock the system I mean I really uh, don't need to um, it runs amazing and um, I want to keep to keep the things safe so I will press F1 and this will um, take us into uh, the BIOS right here we will be able to uh, see the uh, version we are in main right here we see BIOS version 2201 and uh, the date maybe when it was created it always shows a way previous date but uh, pretty much everything uh, everything works uh, right now well, <clears throat> what I need to do is to set the uh, RAM into the AXMP uh, profile again and also to uh, disable the uh, S5 uh, state because otherwise my uh, um, microphone will remain uh, powered on even after uh, I will shut down the PC let's see if I can find uh, that uh, setting let's see in USB configuration not here yes in I will show you once again so if you want to have all your peripherals turned off if you have RGB on them um, like on the uh, keyboard mouse or headphones or whatever so you need to in BIOS you need to be in the advanced tab and from the advanced tab you go on down onto the onboard device configuration click enter and you can see this settings uh, this setting needs to be uh, disabled USB power delivery in soft off state S5 now it's enabled and uh, once we disable it um, like this so you can use the mouse or the keyboard click disabled now when you will shut down the PC all the power to the peripherals will be cut off also to easy um, enable AXMP uh, profile of the RAM because right now it runs at 2133 base clock like there and uh, it needs to be up to 3200 MHz we can go into easy mode so press F7 in this case here it is and you can see a uh, the XMP profile is disabled we simply go with the mouse and uh, enable it and it takes the RAM to its designated speed 3200 CL14 in this case right now press F10 save and exit here we have the list of all the changes we've made 
click OK and pretty much guys um, this sums it up hope this video helps I uh, thank you for all your support um, I uh, wish you all the best and I will uh, catch you in the uh, next uh, tutorial or uh, gaming stream So here, everything is perfect. Bye-bye, guys.